three, two, one, go. All right, everyone with a good start. Shea a little bit late, having to go over the red pillar as expected. Osasha is pitching down very aggressively, but we see who is that? Uh, we have created camper driving a long way, and we see in the background there then. Uh, the back? That's, that's Alec. The auto in the background of the camera there. That's Alec taking a good leap. And uh, again, different tactics straight off the, the ramps there. Currently in the lead is Alec. Pretty good jump off there. We see Creative Camper doing a great job uh, flying in his way. Obviously late to the, the flying party and learning all the tactics. And then followed by, I think that's Shay in the background. So let's just see how this develops and how close people stay together. Racing from the pitch black. Look at all these headlights. There is a lot of them. We'll be using night vision for most of the race. Let's check in with the other racers here. Oh, it's so cool seeing the camera ship fly by. Oh, fuck's sake. Okay, so uh, tracker is frozen. I've been in the IT department on that. Currently <laughs> watching. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I think it looks like we have Commander Osashes with a lead at this point. Uh, from my point of view, he's about a hundred meters ahead of the pack. And you know what sucks as well? I didn't even get to start the race. I pressed play, but it never registered. So there's nothing to restart either. So we definitely have Commander Osashes in the lead here. I think in the background we see Shea and someone else close together. They're about 200 meters behind. Let's check this out from a wide angle view here. As we see everybody still snuggled together in the instance, which is great. Oh, we have someone very close behind Osashes. I think that's Alec. I think we have Alec close to Osashes there. They'll both be concentrating on getting their landings right. This planet is icy, so it's pretty slippery. Bouncing with the right pitch angle is important. And as usual, obviously missing rocks is just as important. We see Osashes with a, a bit of a twitch there as he, uh, as he clipped with the terrain in some offset angle. He, kept his momentum pretty well but we'll have to see what that does for his hole this is another one of those races where it's a balance a fine balance between being able to complete it with no pit stops versus uh hopefully a single pit stop and if you're going to make a pit stop as we see a ship coming in in the background so someone making a first pit stop um if you're going to make a pit stop in this race let it be somewhere around the halfway mark right Yeah, before the canyon or after that's a good point the canyon usually either you can leap it completely which is uh it's a great way to go about it but then it means the speed will be great and uh, the first bounce after or mid canyon is going to be a tough one to try and predict the landing so osashes then looks like he's currently being overtaken by a single racer and another racer very close behind let's fly up to them and see Maybe based on their liveries, if we can spot who they are. So there, yeah, there we have then. This look at the pink. You've got Alec Turner then just overtaking Osashes. It's amazing to see how everyone is staying together pretty tightly. We were talking before the race as well that there's a couple of different ways to go about this race, either straight for the nav marker or trying to arch it left or right a little bit to find some uh, more pref preferred terrain. Um, yeah, straight on's got some gnarly terrain in this. So in front of Alec, we see two racers. I think that's Osasha still on his right flank.
Okay, then. Beautiful. So we have Crank Larson then. I think in a second place. Pretty far off to his left, we see another racer in the background. Actually, I'm gonna say that's Crank in the lead. I'm driving through the ground. Oh, you've oh got boy. the same shit I do. Yeah, so with Elite Dangerous, sometimes the terrain doesn't load fast enough and you're stuck with a lower LOD for the terrain and it doesn't line up with what actually hits you with the physics and that's that can be a struggle. Reloading fixes it, but who wants to do that during a race? Better to just try and roll with it and after you pass the chunk of terrain, it'll fix itself. Usually. If it passes if. the chunk. <laughs> you survive. I had another uh, instance of that yesterday where... Uh, I went about 30 kilometers with Oh, that. at least. At least 30 kilometers. I think it's more like 40 or 50 feet. So we're currently watching Crank Larson, and on his left flank, pretty much on the same line, is another racer. I'm going to say that's probably Shay. So again, these guys are staying pretty close together in a sense of uh, distance away from the settlement finish line, but taking different lines as they reach the canyon. It could be Donald Anderson. Yep, your range. I'm 50 kilometer. 10 4. 47 9. Yeah, the problem so with looking... matching terrain is it's easy to blow up. Oh, absolutely. I'm looking at some red, uh, red markers on the background here. I think this is Commander Anderson, Donald Anderson, with a bit of a. Yes. Bad crash then as he lands himself into the canyon, coming to a dead stop, and will need probably some repairs. Yeah, I've needed a pit for a while. I've been trying to stop for a bit. Well, this is the good moment to do it then, reaching oh, the crater and going for the. One pit stopping. Alec Turner with 8%, and again, this looks like a race where people will be making that pit stop as a single run with everybody around you never goes to plan. Hopefully my ship can find me in my self-made cave. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yesterday my ship actually landed halfway in the ground. You couldn't even see the landing gear. All those are pitting. Who am I close to, if you can? So Crank Larson also looking for a pit stop then as he reaches the, uh, the canyony bit. Hep is also pitting. Hep, are you sitting on your back? No. I'm sitting still on my wheel. See Tend someone in the background there, let's check in with who they are. I, I couldn't restart it because when I pressed play and I thought it worked, it was already frozen, so it never started. So there's nothing to restart, so I can't get everyone back in the list. I could, but that means I'll be stationary for so long that I'll probably lose everyone from the instance. I was considering running it from my girlfriend's computer this time, but no, there's nothing you can do. Who am I following? That's Osashes. So Osashes then, not having made a pit stop yet, currently in the middle of the crater bit. Uh, and as we can see, it's definitely a leap down on the way to Barreros. So a potential extension of his lead then for Osashes as everyone is making pit stops and uh, he's still pushing on. We haven't seen Shay. We don't know where he is. Um, if anybody sees him type his finish in the chat, please let me know as soon as possible so we can write down his time. In case that he is currently uh, taking the lead, we don't know. Sash is looking very slow there. Are you making a stop? Yeah, I go through a pit. 
So we have Osashis as well then going for a stop. Quick pan around him to see if we can spot any of the other racers. At this point though, uh, people are uh, extending distances uh, over each other and thus we might lose them from the instance. So it's, it's hard to really see. On ship. Stick to the plan, man. That was to you, Sash. <laughs> so we see, yeah, we've lost we've lost Alec from the instance as he is floating up into space, unfortunately. Um, Shay is. Let's have a look here. I'm just about to hit the ravine. Roger, yeah, Shay is underground, so he's off the instance. I'm gonna stick with Osashes here, and uh, we'll see what everyone else says. Um, kilometer wise and base finishes of that so with uh, all the difficulties of course with instancing and thus this is a gentleman's game right we need to uh, depend on each other's fairness and it does when you finish make sure you call out your finish by the time you are stationary not when you finish the crossing uh, across the finish line Okay, I can already see that this uh, floaty rock thing is not going to stop anytime soon. I'm going to go to main menu, come right back in. I'm going to risk it. Sounds like a good idea, Hap, who doesn't finish any race. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you are correct, sir. I would totally relog the minute I saw floating ground. Yeah. <laughs> I've, I've usually pushed through, because it does go away after a while, at least for me. A fluffy pillow, you know, for good bounces. Currently watching then Commander Osaches, who just finished his pit stop, and we can actually see on the horizon the very tips of the big buildings of Barreros. I am now 33k from Barreros. How about you, Osaches? One. But going One. slow, speed, 31. And Alex? 36.8. 32. 31. Roger. So Osash is and Alex still very close together. Anderson? 28. Ooh. So Crank Larson. I, I, I'm, I feel like a second place for Crank. I do think Shea is currently in the lead. Uh, having lost the instance. I would, in f I would put money on that, yes. Thirty-five, even. It's so much nicer to race whenever the ground matches, like the <laughs> visual. <laughs> it does help. Let me know when you're back in, Heapster. I am back in. Terror, how you doing? Fucking horrible. <laughs> <laughs> KM remaining. Forty kilometers. Haggard. Um, thirty-seven. Excellent. I've got 39. So because, because Terra Siddick is from Australia, we had him start on the other side of the planet to help him out a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'd probably be going better if I did. <laughs> if you tried racing upside I, down. I like to send Terra upside down smileys. <laughs> See in the show Stranger Things in the upside down? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. I take a picture of flushing my toilet, and then I flip it around backwards, and then I send it to him. Hell yeah. <laughs> Where is oh, the ground? <laughs> Above you. Just close your eyes and let gravity do its thing. I can fit in. Is that your first pit, Haggard? It is, yeah. Awesome. So, Crank Larson then uh, currently looks like in second place. Uh, I don't think you can make too many mistakes with the roots here, because... <laughs> I, I, will, I will mention then, in the last race, we had both Alec Turner and Crank Larson 
uh, hitting a crater. No, ah. excuse me, excuse me. That was um, Osashes and Alec uh, hitting a crater at exactly the same time and blowing up as they reached pretty much the base of it. So yeah, craters are to be avoided as much as possible. Terra blew up. No! Whoa. Didn't you just pit? Yeah. Was it how, Terror Scenic was taking the scenic route? It looks <laughs> like. So Terror, how much hold did you have when you blew up and what happened? 44%. I was going downhill somewhat, but I exploded in clear sky. Mm. Oof. Range, 28.4. 66% hole. 28.2, 22% hole. 21 kilometers. 16. 37%. Ooh, that's a Osash, is it 16? All right, so we have uh, Commander Osash is currently uh, on 16. We have Crank on 14. So it'll be close to see what they are doing. Has anybody seen a finished message from Shay or have any idea where he is? I have not seen a message yet, no. And I have been keeping an eye out. Thank you very much. Oh, I'm seeing a headlight there in the background. I'm going to say that's Crank Larson. Looks about two kilometers ahead of Osashes. Check in with him. Again, reminder for the racers. You do not finish until you are stationary within the settlement boundaries. So great to see everybody uh, taking different routes, but obviously meeting back up at Barreros. Kep is pitting again. I'm at 16% haul. Wow. Damn! Pretty low. Is that you, Crank? Ah. You oh, I think I see. Front of you? I don't know, maybe that's. Oh, Zara's going to be pitting. Oh, this is going to be tight, Crank. Yeah, we're seeing Crank Larson then with right behind him on his, let's say, four o'clock Osashes, about one and a half or two kilometers behind. Both coming up together then. That's up to you. Again then, to finish, you need to cross the settlement border and bring yourself to a stationary position. So stopping completely without blowing up. Oh. Crank Larson then with 6% as he is getting close to the settlement. Fifteen k to settlement. Oh, I just got a Shay Blackwood destroyed. I don't know if you finished or not. Oh. Nah, it's not good. I lost Crank. I don't know where he's at. I'm with him. Oh, dang Currently it. watching Crank Larson still getting very close now to the settlement with about 6% hole remaining. And Osash is about 3% hole remaining for Crank. Let's see if we can find Osashes. I'm praying for Osash, but I hope you don't die, Crank. We've got Osashes in view as well. Crank Larson currently. Just keep going, keep going. Keep going towards the settlement. Just past any man-made structure. Keep going, you're not there yet. You're not there yet. You may now go stationary. You can go stationary now. So that is a finish. Insane. So we oh, have a no. first place finish for Crank Larson.